Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode of the series of tutorial on how to build a WordPress mega menu from scratch. Welcome again, in this tutorial we're gonna see how to style our top navigation bar and how to start editing a little bit this mega menu drop down. So if we access the current status of my installation, you will notice that something changed from the previous lesson. The only thing that I did, and it just like I swear is the only thing that I did is in queuing Bootstrap. I'm using Bootstrap because it comes with like by default this uh, drop down functionality. Uh, it comes also with a sort of nice style that resembles a a little bit the graphic that I want to do. Um, if you don't want to use Bootstrap, you can totally use your own framework or foundation or whatever other CSS framework or no framework at all. I'm just using Bootstrap for like ease of use and it just like helps me to speed up a little bit. Uh, I just simply enqueued Bootstrap inside my WordPress theme. If you have no idea how to do it, again, please check the WordPress 101 series of tutorial where I explain how to enqueue Bootstrap into a live development session or uh, also the sunset theme where I explain as well how to enqueue Bootstrap inside your custom theme. But let's keep going. So you will notice that here, if I click on the series, automatically the dropdown opens and already the functionality of the dropdown is there. That is because of the Walker Nav class that I'm using that automatically detects if an element has children and applies this dropdown class here to the container element. So if we click on it, we're gonna have a dropdown class open that is like the default um, behavior of Bootstrap. If we access the Walker Nav class in my case is the one that I'm using in AWPS, my custom starter theme. You can use like a default nav class or download this very same nav class from the GitHub repository and you can find the link in the description below this video. But you will notice here that in the starter element method, we have an inline if statement that checks if the arguments has children. So if the current Lee element has children applies a drop down class to this very same element. And of course we, because this nav class is already built to respect the behavior or like the um, options of bootstrap automatically checks if uh, there are like children of sub children we have like multiple level of indentations and applies uh, the specific classes that we're gonna use throughout this tutorial but it's time to create something different so first of all let's apply the default style of bootstrap to style these navbar and have a look similar to the graphic that I created in Sketch. So let's access our code editor and let's access our header.php file where we're calling our nav menu. And we can apply some attribute to the class. And we're gonna apply the default nav navbar attributes of Bootstrap. Actually, the navbar and navbar default should go in the nav container and then the menu class should have if we go into the ul element nav nav bar nav options here let's save it let's go back here refresh there you go now we have uh this like poorly styled and really horribly styled uh, navbar of um, WordPress or of like Bootstrap, but it, for the sake of this tutorial, we're we're gonna keep it like that. The thing that I wanna do, I wanna like include the title in the navbar and then push the menu to the right and have these inside a container. So let's change a little bit this stuff. I don't want the menu inside this class here, container, container fluid. Okay, we can uh, completely change the structure. So. All these classes are similar to bootstrap classes, so we can maintain uh, this alignment and having pulling the side branding outside the grid and removing the grid here and having the nav bar. Let's remove row and column and this is just a regular container. Then we can indent 
Now let's check again the bootstrap to have uh, uh, inside a container fluid the title here, remove completely the site branding because we don't want this inside the nav container. We can put this and the class that we need to use, it's actually class nav bar brand. So class bar brand and then this menu should go to the right so we need to apply a class a nav bar right so let's do nav bar right save it let's go back here check okay that's pretty good right we have the title and we have our menu that is pushing to the right and then we have these series here we should put all this stuff actually the nav the container inside the nav inside the nav bar let's indent properly container fluid let's close the div and let's indent all this stuff okay now the alignment is correct uh, the padding is correct title is correct that's perfect we don't have any responsive functionalities for now but if you want you can implement responsive by just simply checking the uh, native structure of bootstrap and applying the same navbar collapse classes and all this kind of stuff but for the sake of this tutorial we're not going to do any responsive thing let's just style a little bit these these navbar to resemble the look of my design so first let's create a new class called like navbar mega menu or whatever you want you can call all the classes that you want and let's act access the source files, SESS, components, header, or you can put it if you're using your own custom CSS or your own style, you can put it in whatever file you want. I'm just following the structure of my theme and let's create this fantastic mega menu here. So let's copy this color coding. Let's say background color. Border radius zero because we are bad people. Actually, it's just two pixels. So, two pixels. Then we have our border that it's slightly darker. Border color this. And then uh, let's say color. Not sure if color white is gonna apply the Y to also the subtext and yes it did so we don't want that so let's remove the color white we're gonna properly style all the links so this is the thing about bootstrap you need to respect the structure of bootstrap in order to uh, have uh, override properly the classes and default attributes of bootstrap if you try to apply your own classes without respecting that structure you will be forced to use important declaration we don't want to do that so first to style the brand let's use these indentation of our default navbar brand but we're using our custom so navbar mega menu navbar brand and here can be color and font weight let's say 800 I want to just a little big fat title this is perfect and then let's do the same for this let's select first like a regular type of link and let's copy this structure here so we know that bootstrap by default it goes navbar and then indented navbar nav li a with like a direct connection so we can just remove this stuff maintain the navbar nav inside our navbar mega menu and style our color to be white as well and if you don't understand this structure like it doesn't look like a regular css is because i'm using scss if you don't know anything about scss or sas again check my series of tutorial alicat crash course on how to uh, learn how to use scss and how to speed up your front-end development like super quickly so now we have our link that it's white if we go on rollover let's activate right click hover status and here let's copy it's on hover background color transparent so let's go ampersand over color let's maintain white and let's select 
the color that I picked for the selected or the open type of thing and we're gonna use the same color for pretty much everything so background color is not transparent for me but has this darker blue save it okay let's remove the hover perfect and here let's do the same for this that as a Lee with an active so this is the type of class that it's happening so the Lee element the list element as a, an active class and then we have the link pointing there so we can do this very same thing and to speed up we can say ampersand and then ampersand hover so that means that both the regular status and the hover status will have this stuff these like declarations and there you go so here we have a rollover that is going outside our container yes sorry i have my own uh, custom framework here that it's interfering with bootstrap so i'm gonna just comment these out and delete this and it shouldn't affect anymore yes now it's perfectly online so that's awesome so another thing that i want to do is when these is open let's check this class what's happening here so this has an open class and the color of this link changes because it's open so hold so this we need to overwrite this stuff so here and you can see that this is not the best, right? So we are navmarnav open. It's kind of weird. Yes, now it's styled properly, but it's not it's not the best solution, especially because we need to repeat the same thing over and over again. So let's restructure only this first part and let's do something like this. Let's open and close the curly brackets to include the a tag inside our Lee element. And then let's say and active comma and open and now we can implement this thing inside and we should specify a guess that's what bootstrap has also the uh, focus css attribute and we can delete everything else uh, actually here we're missing the a container <laughs> sorry this is the most important one so let's indent again boom let's go back here perfect our style is what we wanted uh, everything is correct uh, we have this rollover here but who cares let's keep going with this tutorial okay so the first thing that we want to do here is um, oh here we have a weird status so what's happening if we click and drag it's a hover and then it's a focus and then it's not a hover okay if it's focus oh look at here what happens never leave a hover okay we forgot the focus here there you go comma focus that's it and now we solve the issue so if i click drag outside it's not gonna turn black that's perfect okay now the first thing that we want to do we want to first extend this thing only if we want a, me a, a mega menu because we could have the um, the case that a user has a mega menu for a button and a regular menu or just a regular drop down for another button so uh, we don't want to activate the mega menu for every drop down element or every element has a drop down class inside the Lee container but we want to specify a unique custom class and the easiest way to do it is by giving the user or you as a developer the chance to specify which mega menu which element should be turned into a mega menu to do that let's access the administration area it's going to appearance menus and here inside the series we can specify a unique css class called mega menu and let's save the menu if we go back in our front end and we refresh we check we inspect 
this element here, we're going to notice that this Lee element has the mega menu class because automatically WordPress applies all your custom classes to the Lee element. And because of this class, now we can style all the things that Bootstrap does by default, the drop down, the UL and all this kind of stuff, thanks to this container mega menu. So let's check first, let's open this thing and see what the drop down menu does like how is the drop down menu handled and you notice that here we have the nav bar nav lee drop down menu this is the structure that bootstrap uses to style this thing and that's perfect because we are in the nav bar mega menu container that is the last one we can repeat this structure if we don't want to keep indenting this thing, if it's like it gets kind of like weird and complicated. And we can activate all the classes only if we have a Lee or like edit this drop down menu only if the Lee element has a class of mega menu. By specifying this unique pattern only these attributes that I'm going to specify here are going to affect the drop down mega menu. The first thing that I want to do, I want to just give it a width of 100%. But with a width of 100%, of course, the uh, drop down will uh, remain constrained uh, to the width of the container. And the container is, of course, the primary menu. So in order to override the primary menu and not just remove these like position relative or like editing the uh, default style of bootstrap, we can just take care of editing the container like the Lee here of our drop down by assigning a position static to the mega menu class. So let's go back in our text editor and let's apply a bracket here to wrap everything around this thing, proper indentation and the mega menu class will have a position static. Save it. And there you go. Do you see what happened? Now we have our drop down that by default should be like a regular drop down. It goes 100%. And that's perfect. That's what we wanted. Or if we want, we can give it a limit. So for example, we access our design, the design we, we did, we have this menu that uh, it's actually a max width of 900. And we can exactly do this. So we have a width of 100%, but we can specify a max width of 900 pixel. So if we go back here, see, our mega menu is still gigantic, it goes 100%, but at maximum width of 900 pixel will give us more control. And of course, it's kind of responsive because when it hits, like it gets smaller than 900 pixel, it's 100%. So it follows the width of the browser window. Just as a test, if we create another like add to menu and our sample page here, and we add a bunch of posts to this page and we indent there, but to this page, actually, let's add another one uncategorized as a menu. Okay. So to this sample page, I'm not going to apply any custom class. If we save the menu, this menu item should be a regular drop down and this is the regular drop down style of bootstrap so this is a mega menu this is not and thanks to the classes to the custom classes applied to the user from the user we can have multiple styles on the same nav bar without affecting the regular default behavior of bootstrap or the css framework that we're using and this is really important when building a mega menu like giving the ability to the user to not be bounded or strict to only and constantly use mega menu but actually using uh, the default behavior. If the user wants to use just a regular dropdown, he can do it by not applying the mega menu custom class. So it's pretty much it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can spend a couple of minutes on the support me page where you can find all different ways and methods to support me, support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you. Thank you again, guys. And until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding.